been making notes at home. All right. Uh, I'm never good with opening statements, but I mean, I can tell you this: I'm uh, always excited to get the season going. But I think if you, when you look at our home home schedule and what we have this year, uh, and then the group of kids that you have coming back that we're kind of sitting and waiting, and then the group of kids that have been able to compete for us. Um, and I, if you're not excited for you and I wrestling right now, something's wrong. Um, I know, I know that I am, and I know what I've seen in the room this spring and summer. And not just, uh, you know, not just the Dylan Peters, not just the Cooper Moores, uh, not just the Max Thompsons, but the other guys uh, and how they're progressing too. I mean, that's that's what excites me as a coach, and, and seeing these guys grow and develop um, in the last in the last six months has been really exciting. I think it's a, it's the biggest growth spurt we've had as a group um, since I've been here. Um, and, and a lot has to do with the group of kids that you have in the room right now and the standard that they're setting for themselves on and off the mat. Uh, there was no doubt that the freshman group that we brought in last year, it's a special group. Um, and I think we knew that coming in. And they've raised everyone's level and expectations and I think they've got everyone where they're kind of on fire right now and, and excited and looking forward to the season. Um, and then trying to, to temper that with Hey man, today's the day, and we got to continue to get better, and not too, getting too caught up into looking forward to what competition, but how much growth we can have from now to the end of the season, because uh, that's really what we're looking for, and we're just looking for continued growth and and to look at whatever obstacles coming our way, and we had some last year. You know, you got a guy like Dylan Peters; he tears his ACL in December. Uh, he used that obstacle as a way to, to to motivate him, and now for him this year. He's going to be in such a better place because he knows what he can handle. Um, he placed, he placed. You know, you say on one leg, but he, he placed. He did place on, you know, on one leg. It's 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 hard to wrestle that way um, when you're hurt. But I can tell you what, he made up his mind right away. And to me, that's that's very indicative of of, of our team and how we're going to move forward from from having any type of setbacks. I mean, that's how we're going to look at him. Every setback's an opportunity, um, and he epitomized that. And he's going to be stronger this year. You know, everyone's kind of asking, well, where's Dylan Peters at? Where's Dylan Peters at? Um, he's back on the mat. You know, we're working in him, in him into it. Um, but the great thing is, is, is we don't just have Dylan Peters. <laughs> you just start looking up and down our lineup. And, and I'm not, I'm going to leave some guys out, but, uh, you know, someone's going to have to step up for a while for him. And you've got a guy like Tanner Royer or a guy like uh, Jay Schwarm who are ready to do that. Um, and they're both chopping at the bit because, and I, I want to be the guy that steps out there, and I want to be the guy that takes Peter's spot uh, and don't give it back to him. I mean, that's kind of how we're talking to those guys. Uh, you know, a guy like Elber back, and did he have the season he wanted last year? 100% no, but he learned a lot. And you know, we kind of talk about those those obstacles and getting weight control, going through a whole season as opportunities and learning from him, and he's done it. Um, he's, he's a lot better wrestler right now. You know, Kothi tore his ACL last year, another obstacle, but he's going to be better. He's going to be better for that. Uh, he's back healthy and been wrestling. Uh, him and Hodges are going to scrap and battle. Uh, 49, I think everyone's excited to see Max Thompson get out there and compete. I know I am, um, and I know he is too. But then you, you get a guy like Hunter Washburn who talk about those guys that are that are behind maybe the front guy that are pushing him. He's one of those guys, and he's made a huge jump in the last year. Um, 57, and, and I'm kind of going into where we, we got some depth now. I don't think I've ever had this much depth on, on our team. And sometimes depth takes time. I want to have depth the first year, but to be able to have depth the first year, not always realistic. Um, but now we have we have quality depth. We have guys that can wrestle and compete at a high level. And if something happens, where there is a, where there's a stumble, somebody gets hurt. It's not there's a big drop off. This guy he can step in and he can he can perform at a really high level and he expects to perform at a really high level. Um, so 57 Styrton and, Styrton and, uh, and Peyton Morgan a battle. And, you know that's that's great because I don't think I've had where you can have those two two guys like that. 65 Coopers healthy, and he looks and he looks really good. You know, knock on wood, um, we got to keep him there. Uh, 74, a guy like Luhan, he's going to be really fun to watch. He's going to be a fan favorite, and I keep saying that, but just just in how he competes, um, in how he's kind of uh, reckless in a way, but reckless that you're just going to have to have to keep your eyes on him the whole time, and reckless in a way that the guys when they get done wrestling with him, they're going to be, man, I don't know if I want to wrestle that guy again. Um, 84, you go to, you go, you got Foster and Hoshlog, two young guys who compete really well. Foster got so much better throughout the year, um, you know, and, and getting that opportunity to compete in our conference tournament was a was a big thing for him, and he just keeps growing. Um, you got you got a battle there, and then Hoffman and Hoffman and Bartell, you got a battle at 97. 
Um, and then we got our transfer in, J.J. Uh, Everhart. And then there's a lot of guys I'm leaving off the list, but they're all pushing those guys to make them better. Um, and you start talking about that lineup. And what gets me more excited, I guess, than anything is I'm not talking about our lineup. The guys on our team are talking about our lineup. They're talking about it amongst themselves. They're talking about it when, when they're out talking with people. And every week we, we, have a, we have a big homecoming event. And Albert got up, and he was the first guy to talk. And all he talked about is, I can't wait to see Dylan Peters wrestle. I can't wait to see Jake Cothier. I can't wait to see, you know, I can't wait to see my teammates go out there and compete. And that's what, what excites me the most, um, is that guys are excited to compete. And, you know, we're not far off from getting out there. Uh, but also the growth that they made as a group. I, I'm just telling you, I, I haven't seen that, that, that much growth since I've been here. So that's exciting for me as a, as a coach, and hopefully it's exciting for any of the fans out there too, and exciting for you guys who are going to cover us uh, to see these guys and how much better they get throughout. We see some of these guys, how much better they get throughout this year. Because uh, it, it's, it's going to be fun. I, I'm always looking forward to it. I mean, you can, I can go with the old cliches, but uh, excited just to see how these guys perform. Because what I see in the room is really good, but now we got we got to carry that over to competition. And then whenever something bad happens, because something bad's going to happen, <laughs> it's just part of part of the sport. How do they handle that? How do they move forward? Do they get better from it? And, and I can guarantee you they'll get better from it because we have some guys in the past that have been able to do that. You know, a guy like Peters, he was able to do it, and now our, our other guys can do that too. So, I don't know. any questions? What's spurred on that growth since he made such a big jump? What was at the heart of? I think I think a young group of guys who are hungry and they're very committed. Um, if you saw how how much some of these guys changed in the last year, you, you know you. And, and I've talked to a few of the guys. Like, I mean, you remember where you were at a year ago? Like, I've I've talked to a few guys in, in the last couple of weeks. Like, do you remember where you were, where you were a year ago, and how much growth you made? And they're like, you know, you kind of see their eyes light up and like, oh yeah, man, I, you know, I wasn't sure if I how good I was going to be if I could. And now what they've done is is they've consistency over time, and that's what we talk about all the time. There's got to be consistency over time. It can't just be like, I mean, one is making a decision. You burn the bridges. You know, a decision that I'm going I'm to I'm stick with, with this program. I'm believing in myself. I'm going to keep moving forward. And the other one is, is that I'm going to do it daily and make that decision. Because you guys have all been around college wrestling enough to know how hard it is and how tough it is and how, how grinding it can be and how there's going to be some letdowns and, and there's really no big pot of gold at the end of it. <laughs> it just teaches you a lot of life lessons and a lot of lifetime habits that hopefully you carry over with you. Uh, but I just think those guys set in a really high standard. If you saw what they did all summer, you know, lifting and working and, you know, some of these guys, I, I bet you they were looking forward to school because some of them were, were getting up early in the morning, they're lifting, they're working all day, and then they're doing something else to, to get themselves better. So, um, you know, really, and that's where it's got to be led from. It can't be fueled from me. It's got to be fueled from the team. And it's been fueled from those guys. And now it just, now they're just, now they're just raising their level. And it's just going out there and, and beating a really good guy. And then once they beat a really good guy, then that first domino falls and they all start to fall. Last year, preseason, you guys had three ranked wrestlers mm -hmm. in the MAC poll. This year you have six. Are there higher expectations going into the season than last year? I mean, every, every year the expectations are high. You know, it's to get the most out of your guys. Um, you know, we can go back to the last couple of years that we performed – like we wanted to, 100% no. I mean, we haven't, but I can tell you, and I've said this before, that those last couple of years have made me as a coach. They've, they've made me a better coach because you have to really do a real deep evaluation of the program as a whole. And does that mean you, you, you're, you're panicked and you, you change a bunch of things? No, but it means, hey, man, we really got to dig down deep and, and figure out are we, what we're doing is it developing guys. Are they getting better? You know, our attention rate's been great. You know, we, we've had guys that have stuck through the program, but how much better have they gotten? And... Last year was the first guys that I've had five years. You know, I've had five years. I've recruited them. They were on campus, and, and you start to see some things that, that maybe wear on them, and then you start to make those adjustments on the front end. So on the back end, we're our fourth and fifth year, our best years, instead of, you know, I, I see it in college wrestling right now. Guys, fourth and fifth year, they're, they're like looking at their watch, man. Let's, I'm ready to get, get out of here and be done. I want their fourth and fifth year to be their best years, their most exciting years, not their first one and two years. I want that dream to stay 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 alive and I want them when, when they're fourth and fifth year and they're they're about to be done out of here, they they're they're still excited about the sport and growing in. And if we can do that then then I think we'll get the absolute most out of our guys. You know? um, so expectations are always the same. It is to get the absolute most out of our athletes, to get them to wrestle and perform hard for seven minutes, is to get them to do the right things on and off the mat. 
I mean, that never changes. And I believe in my guys 100%. I believe that every one of these guys, whoever steps out there, they're going to win every time, whoever they're facing. Um, and that'll never change. If it does, then I'll be done coaching. Does this team have enough firepower to best its another, produce another top ten finish? We haven't had one yet, so yeah. I, I'm not going to set any limits on these guys, and they're not going to set any limits on themselves. Um, you know, I'm not getting into prognosticating. Well, you know, I, and we talk. We were just talking about rankings. You know, and you see flow. They start putting guys, and this guy's going to be an All American. This guy's going to be All American. And the great thing is, our guys get to decide that. Um, do I think that? We can have the best lineup that we've had since I've been here, 100%. There's no doubt that up and up and down the lineup of, of who you send out there and how they're going to compete, they can, it can absolutely, without a doubt, be the best lineup that we've set out there. Um, you, you can start looking at the names. You can start looking at the names and how they compete. And to me, I'm more, I'm more concerned with how they're going to compete. Because you know, when you start having a reputation that precedes you, as a competitor, I mean, you, you win a lot of matches before that. Because guys, are all they're trying to do is hold you off. I mean, that's all they're trying to do to survive. And, and you want to get the program to that point where all, it, all the guys trying to do is survive against you. And they're, they're thinking about ways that, can, how can I keep this thing close? <laughs> and I've been around programs that have got to that. I've been around guys that have, have competed like that. And we have guys in our room right now that can compete like that and do it. They're just, they haven't, they haven't decided or they, they're not sure because they haven't beat someone that everyone else deems as being you know, one of the best guys, but I know what I feel and I know what I see. And we have some of the best guys in the country in this room. We have a whole mess of them. And once they start really understanding it and they prove it out in the West Gym or in the Southern Scuffle or at Iowa State or wherever we go or St. Louis, then, then they'll, really, they'll really know. But I think every competitor's been there, though. You know, you do the work and, man, you know, you know you're right there, but you need kind of that, that last domino to fall. I know I was there as a competitor. I can remember. I can remember a couple matches that it made the difference. And these guys just got to get that get that one to fall because the the work's been done. It's all set up now. It's just going out and performing. End of last year, you talked about Cooper Moore having to refocus mm -hmm. and just get back to what he's good at. You said he's healthy. Do you feel like he's done what he needs to do in the off season just to have his mind right? Let alone the uh, the yeah, injuries? no doubt, one hundred percent. In that's where you get to know your athletes. You get to know them well. You build a relationship with them. And some guys, they need to press more. And some guys, you know what? The best thing is you can get away. Get away, as, get away as long as possible. Get healthy. Get excited about the sport. Because, man, if you're not excited about it, if you're dreading coming in here, it's hard. It's too hard. It's too hard to, to get anything out of you and to perform like you're capable of. And I know he, he'll never make an excuse, but, I mean, he, he tore a ligament in his elbow early in last year, you know? He got a concussion at Midlands. He was ready. He was ready to win the Midlands. He got a concussion at Midlands. Got sick. Hurt his ankle in a match that he won against Iowa State. You know, I mean, it was just one thing after the next, after the next, after the next. It just kind of he get up and then, and that I think it just it just got to him. <laughs> you know, it got to him, and we we worked hard to, to get him to recover. But he needed he needed more time than than a week or two weeks. He needed he needed a big chunk of time, and he got that chunk of time, and he does look great. You know, and that but that's that's just. That's just in the room, but he's excited about the sport, and he, and he feels good about where he's at, and that's where we want to keep him. So if that means maybe he sets out a duel or he doesn't go to this tournament, then, then that's what we'll do because we, we want we want the best Cooper more possible in March. You go back and look at that um, ridiculous slew of injuries last year. Yeah. You chalk them up as bad luck, or, or is there anything you've learned from those that, uh, that can prevent prevent it going forward? I think. I mean, a guy, you know, a couple guys get hurt in competition, I don't know how to control that better. You know, I, I know that in the room we can control things, we can control training, we can see when guys are getting more down. Um, and I kind of go back to the five-year cycle. You know, I'm looking at a guy now, instead of looking at him in, uh, in just this year, all we're worried about is this year, I'm thinking about how can we, how can we talk about from five years from now. Um, so being, being longer term in our thinking, because, you know, you can, you can grind a guy down, but man, when you grind a guy down, you grind a guy down, you grind a guy down, you grind a guy down. And, then it gets really hard for them to get back up <laughs> or something else happens, you know. So trying to, trying to balance that where we are going to work really hard, there's going to be a standard and precedent we set when we, when we train, but maybe it's less and maybe we do it a lot smarter. So we've done a lot more. We're doing, doing a lot more skill work, a lot more sparring. We still scrap, I mean, but it's, it's, getting, it's getting where it's less and less so we can find that right balance. So I think, you know, you take inventory from, for, for me, I'm looking more long range now and not just like right now, right now, today, and, 
next week, it's like, okay, we're, we're thinking about having these guys really excited about the sport four and five years from now. And part of that's going to be there. They're going to find ways to continue to get back to their teammates, you know. That's, that's, a, that's a huge way to do it. And they just kind of a, 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 whole, a whole process and program. Some some may be bad luck, but I think on me I don't I don't I try not to like be like well this you know I try to figure out well, what can I do what can we do about it to help prevent that so it's part of the strength training that we've done we're going to do strength training throughout the whole year we we haven't done it to the to the level that we've done it so far that we we are going to do this year so I think that can help prevent a lot of things um, so we're doing a lot of preventive things that what can we do on our end not well that was just bad luck well after a couple of years it's, it, it's not you know it starts to become a trend then you got to start figuring things out. So we're definitely making adjustments. What will it take for Max or anybody to be the guy? Max coming in, what's the expectation for him coming in? There's a lot of expectations from what he did previously, but what, how's, how does he handle those? How does he move forward? I think for him just being able to relax and go compete, you know, he gets, we really worked on him not getting too, you know, too, too uptight, you know. And he's done the work. I mean, the, the work's been done. I mean, that guy—that guy's worked his tail off, and he's worked his tail off since he was a little kid. You know, so now it's just kind of let's enjoy this process a little bit. Let's actually enjoy going out and competing, and not like have the stress of the world weigh on you. And that's that's a, something that you have to work on. And you know, when we get back in the first competition, and maybe something happens, like we just gotta gotta continue to have reminders for these guys. But I, I've been seeing the things that, that we've been working on and talking about, seeing wanting them to, to, to do in the room. They've been happening. Um, you know. The other day he got he got cradled and pinned, got taken down, you know, and a lot of times that would be, oh, he starts to kind of lose focus and he's all over the place and he wants to kill a guy instead of, okay, I'm going to take a deep breath, I'm going to go back, where am I really good? And those type of things take a little bit of time. You know, it's not like a snap of the finger because there's some well-worn paths there. There's some things that, some habits that you have to really work on guys being aware of and then, and then reminding them when they get in that spot. So um, I know that he's done the work, I know what I feel. The guy's good. He's really good, and he's gotten and he's gotten a lot better. You know, the, the last I'd say the last the last two months, he's really really made a, a significant jump. Uh, the Cliff King, Las Vegas Invitational, Midlands come off the schedule, Southern Scuffle. What talk a little bit about how the schedule, how you develop that, why? I think our schedules. I think our schedules, for me, like kind of how you see how it flows. Um, having having a lot of early season uh, at home. You know, having having some in January, having some in February. Uh, being able to go to the scuffle, just want to try it. You know, when I when I first made that, Penn State was going to be there. You know, they're they're not there now, but you still got Oklahoma State. You still have a great a great time. Um, and I know some people look at well, it's only a couple days later, but a couple days later when you're coming back from Christmas, also, you know, you come back the 26, and that and we just take that for granted, like that's what we do. It's wrestling, um, but I like how they really run the tournament. And we we may go to back to Midlands next year, and we may be able to sell the scuffle for the rest of the time. You know, but I, I looked at kind of our schedule. We don't travel as much this year um, farther away. You know, on, on the other years we travel a little bit more because we have to go out to Virginia. We go out to, to, to Buffalo. And it gives us a little bit more of a break time. We have a couple of Big Ten teams on the schedule. We have a couple of Big 12 teams on the schedule. And always, always trying to work through that and get, get teams on the schedule. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You know, there's some other teams that we would certainly really like to get on the schedule. There's another in-state team that we'd really like to get on the schedule. You know, it'd be good. It's time. I mean, I think we haven't wrestled in five years, so I think it's time. I think some things need to be put aside, and let's let's wrestle. You know, <laughs> come on. You know, and maybe this isn't the place to do it, but you know what? It, it is time. Though. It's time for us to get back where, where we wrestle each other. I mean, it, it's it's crazy that that Iowa and Iowa State and you and I we don't we don't all wrestle each other. I think that's crazy. Um, we should all we should all wrestle each other every year. It's too it's too important, man. We're 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 wrestling. Wrestling is the center of the universe. Wrestling is the center of, in the center of the universe of wrestling is is the state of Iowa. So to have two state teams that don't, I think I think it's it's time. It's enough. Um, it's time for us to wrestle again. Get back on the schedule. What so. needs to happen to have that occur? Well, probably this isn't the place, but I'm a little late. It's a little late now. <laughs> <laughs> I think just hey, we, we got to find dates, you know. And I know that I know Big Ten, you know, they 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 make them have nine 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 home or nine dates in, in the Big Ten, so you only have seven dates left. Um, I know they want to wrestle Oklahoma State and some of those teams, and sometimes it does make it hard. But but I really think that 
we can figure out a way to get it done. Um, so hopefully it happens. If not, it doesn't. I mean, it's not. It's not going to change us. We're still going to. We're still going to move forward. We're still going to have our program. We're still going to keep trying to get better. But I, I just. I think it's a, it's, it's it's too important for for me, the state of Iowa, to have that happen. We talked about how Dylan approached that obstacle last mm -hmm. season, in season. Uh, what's it been like in the off season preparing for, for this year? Uh, just, I mean, it's just time. I mean, to, to get that thing to, to repair, it's you know, it's a six month deal. So, um, doing some mental work, doing some other things that. Because you can still get better. There's a lot of ways to get better. I know everyone thinks it's just physical. That's all I can do. I, you know, I, I can pound, I can lift weights, I can do this and that. But, I mean, a lot of it's just being able to, to be on the focus, our thoughts, and be able to stay clear when chaos is around us. Um, and that, that's a tough thing. But he, he was able to do that because if anyone's ever competed injured, I mean, it's, it's a hard not to have in the back of your head the whole time. The whole time you're thinking about, you know, how, how can I favor this? How, what can I do? And it, and it hurt him and bothered him a lot more than I think he ever told us. Um, but when you're able to put that aside and really focus in, you you understand what you're capable of. And I think he truly understands that, that he's I'm one of the best guys. You know, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm close, but I'm not sure if I'm the best guy. And I think there's no doubt now that he knows that he is one of the best guys in the country at 125. And I know I know that there's some there's some other good guys there, but having him having him healthy and, and feel good. I mean, I think for him having six months off, I don't think it's a bad thing. He's never had six months off probably since he was five years old, <laughs> you know, because he's competed all the way through. So for, for a guy to get and kind of have that taken away, I don't, I don't think it's always bad because, man, it, was, it wasn't there. He, just could, he could always kind of go back into it. And now he didn't have a choice. Now he can go back into it, and he can be really excited for his senior season. And knowing that, knowing that you can do that when you're injured just proves how, how, how tough you are mentally. So any, I think anything, when any little nick comes now, Big deal, you know. This sore a little bit, and so what? My ACL was torn last time. I, I, big deal. What do you think your other guys gained from that? From seeing that? I think when if when you make your mind up that you can do something, you can do it. And that's what I, I'm telling you. I can remember. I can remember sitting, we, we sat and talked, and hey, you know, we, we got this. We got this MRI result back. He's your ACL's torn. And I remember talking. I said, Dylan, it's either, you know, it's it's either you're going with it. Or we're getting surgery. He's like, I'm going with it, and you can tell he made up his mind right there, and that's a powerful thing. You make a decision, and you don't look back and kind of burn the bridges, so to speak. I mean, that's what we talk about doing, and that's what he did. And there's just there's nothing else that's that's going to get in the way of that. It just won't happen. Um, and that's that's not easy to do because you know, can I do it? Can I not do it? He just decided, and, and we we gave him plenty of time to kind of to get back into it. But I don't know if you guys remember that Iowa State match. I mean, that, that was a gutty, gutty performance. Um, he got behind, and he was able to get he was able to get a score and able to get another score. And then, I mean, he lifted him up and put him down about five or six times. I mean, that was gutty because he, he tweaked his knee, and then the next day, you know, I'm like, you don't, you don't have to wrestle Dylan. I'll wrestle him. <laughs> so, I mean, that's the type of kid he is. Um, but for our other guys, it just proves, man, that because we talk about it all the time. I mean, we talk about it constantly. Like, you don't have to feel perfect. And you get to the national tournament, if you feel perfect, and good for you, that's awesome. Because most guys don't. And they're not going to feel very good, but what they can still compete with and what they can overcome is incredible when you set your mind to it. So instead of us having a guy like we talk, well, you know, I did this. You got a guy that was right beside you. That's your peer. That's your teammate. And he did it. So I know you can do it too. You talked about the depth of this team, mm -hmm. best you've had. Uh, 11 days till competition. You guys are go now going to the Grandview Open. Will that serve as a wrestle off for you guys? Yeah, definitely. Just kind of set our lineup to start the season. Uh, we've done wrestle offs before, but wrestle offs are. I think everyone. No one enjoys wrestle offs. <laughs> I know. I, I know. I don't. I mean, you can't. You can't cheer. You just you're watching. A lot of guys know each other pretty well, um, and I want to see how guys compete anyway. We start. We started our season a week earlier too. We usually start the next week. Um, but with kind of how, how our schedule worked out, uh, we wanted to go a week earlier. So we're a week, we're a week earlier than we would have been, uh, and we've done it before. I think it'd be, it'll be good. It'd be good for those guys to get tested and get multiple matches in and, and rest on somebody else and rest on a teammate can be a lot different too. So, yeah, that'll definitely, that'll definitely set our lineup to start the season. Any other questions?
Any questions for Coach? Holschlag and Hoffman, 84, they, they plan to wrestle off. Or is there anybody else at that lineup that can test for that spot? Foster. Foster, they've all, they've all grown. You know, we, the good thing is, is between 84 and 97, you know, we're going to have to, we're going to have to mix and match a little bit, you know, just in case something happens. Uh, Bartell, Bartell is, is, is pretty healthy right now. He looks good, but, you know, you, you can only, you can't only have one deep. You know, you gotta have you gotta have another guy in uh, in there just in case, you know. So Hoffman Hoffman's definitely he, he's he's the bigger one out of that group. So you know, kind of looking at him him and him and Bartell look at ninety seven and then uh, Hoshlog and Foster eighty four. And they both they both built themselves up where they're you know, they got up in the nineties this this summer. You know, they're not like I'm I'm just weighing eighty four. They're both sturdy and they they look good at that weight. Last season all the buzz was the possible of starting a freshman, a true freshman, yeah. which you ended up doing. Is there anybody this year that sticks out to you that could be a Bryce Dyer? Well, we don't have to. You know, with we got, you know, if you kind of you, you look at some of the guys we brought in, and you talk about Isley, we got JJ there, so we can give him that year. Um, and we don't have anybody that's really chomping at the bit to be the to, to be the guy. Bryce was he was dead set really when he came in. I you know I want I want to wrestle. I want to wrestle. I'm ready to wrestle, and I want to wrestle. Um, so that's different than than pushing a guy to do it. And if if we get to that point, you know, great. I just don't, I don't see it happening this year. I think we're where our depth is and when where our guys are. I think we're we're going to be able to give them that retro ear, which I think for most guys it is really important. You know, but I I certainly can tell you in the future that we're we're gonna we're gonna look at it every year. Now it's not like just a blanket thing that you know this guy's gonna retro no matter what. Uh, I think. For some guys, it's probably better. I think it was better for Bryce to wrestle last year. You know, and I think for some of those other guys, it was better for them to red shirt and get that year and get it under their belt and you see the growth that they had. Uh, so I don't, I don't see anyone, not this year.